Hey everyone, welcome back to 31 Days of AR, VR, and EDU, and we're at day 11. I can't believe how quickly this is all going, but I'm excited to share the Metascan today, which is a 3D capture tool for you to use on a mobile device. Now this is specific to iOS, so you will use an iPhone or an iPad to be able to capture what you want to include for 3D objects. So essentially what you're doing is you're using your camera in your mobile device and you're able to walk around and capture photo by photo or a 3D scan that then turns into a 3D object that you can use in augmented or virtual reality scenes. So there are two different modes. You have your LiDAR scanning mode or you have your photo scanning mode. And the way that LiDAR works, like many of the other apps, that you're able to walk around and capture from different angles and piece by piece, your camera is detecting how far away an object is. And as you walk and navigate around that space, then you're able to pick up exactly what object that is. And it also identifies the texture of that object and places it back into a 3D object for you to be able to use. Now on the photo mode, it's a little bit different and it's the first app I've seen use photos this well, is you capture photo by photo by photo and you walk around an object trying your very best to avoid having um, issues with lighting or issues with a blur if you're moving while you're capturing and you're literally just going around an object and capturing. You can see here that I've captured a table using photos. Now, in addition to that, what you want to include is that you are doing a very good overlap from photo to photo. They say um, a good range is about 70% overlap. So you're just moving inch by inch around an object and capturing as best you can. Um, I was able to capture inside of this space, inside my hotel room, um, a table that was sitting here and little by little I was able to walk around, capture it using LiDAR scanning and using photo scanning and using their pro version I was able to capture and export out a pretty good similar 3D object. Now there is um, very thin parts of the table that hold it up. And because of that, LiDAR typically doesn't capture that as well. Um, it has a harder time identifying exactly things that are very thin and not well connected to other larger objects. So because of that, um, you typically have missing pieces of a, of a table or if you're scanning a tree, you'll see missing branches. So because of that, you'll just want to keep in mind that um, the objects you scan in particular, more solid, the better of a scan you'll get. I love all the export features. If you are using the pro version, you'll have a lot more options as far as exports out, quality of processing of those objects, and you'll be able to share that out in both augmented, you can see it, or if you wanna export that out and um, include in VR experiences, in both cases, it's a wonderful tool to start really creating your own 3D content. I'll see you tomorrow, 31 days of AR, VR, and EDU.